The camera shake is one of the most important and widely used effects in video editing. And today we're going to create three clean camera shake transitions and then save them so we can just drag and drop them in future projects. First, we're going to make this vertical shake. So these are the two clips that I'm using. I'm going to start by dragging an adjustment clip from the effects tab onto my timeline and right clicking to change the clip duration to 16 frames and position it in the middle of the two clips like this. Then right click again to open it in the fusion page. Press shift and space to add a camera shake node in our inspector in the the top right, we'll set X deviation to 0.1, Y deviation to 0.9, rotation to 0.05, and randomness to 0. Make sure you're at frame 0 in your mini timeline, and now we can set a keyframe for strength and speed and set them both to 0. And we'll set our edges to mirror to get rid of the blank space that we saw earlier. Go to frame 7, which is our cut point, and change speed and strength to 0.74. Then go one frame over to frame 8 and set keyframes for speed and strength again. Then go to frame 15 and set speed and strength back to to zero. We can go into the camera shake settings in the top right and apply motion blur by checking the box. Go to frame zero and set a keyframe for your shutter angle right below motion blur. Then go to frame seven and set it to 360. Go to frame eight and set another keyframe at 360. Then go to frame 15 and set shutter angle back to 180. The idea is that the increased shutter angle will help exaggerate the movement and hide the cut. Now we can add a directional blur node by pressing shift and space and we'll use the one without the DRBR suffix. We can set our blur angle to 90 so so that it's vertical. Then set a keyframe for blur strength at frame 1 and set it to 0. Now go to our cut point at frame 7 and set blur strength to 0.6. Then go one frame over to frame 8 and set another keyframe for blur strength. Then go to frame 14 and set blur strength back to 0. Now we can open our spline editor in the very top right, check all of the boxes and hit the zoom to fit icon. Left click somewhere in the box and press Control A to select all of your points and you can press S to smooth the curves. And I think it looks better if you go through the graphs and hold alt while dragging these outer lines in, it will ease the movement a little more. And that's our vertical shake. Next, we're going to be doing this pretty aggressive flash shake. We'll start the same way with the 16 frame adjustment clip, but this time position it at the beginning of our second clip like this. Now right click it to open it in the fusion page and press shift and space to add a camera shake node. We can set our X, Y, and rotation deviation to around 0.7 and set randomness to zero. At frame zero, set keyframes for speed and strength and set them to one and change our edges to mirror. Now go to frame 15 and set speed and strength back to zero and change the frequency method from sine to rectified sine. That will basically simplify the direction of the movement, making it look much cleaner in my opinion, especially after pressing shift and space to add a directional blur node. At frame zero, set the length to 0.1 and set a keyframe. Set the angle to about 130 because that will go with the direction of the shake as indicated by this little green line. I can also set my glow to about 0.2 and set a keyframe still at frame zero. Now I can go to frame 15 and set my length and glow back to zero. Those are all of my nodes, so I'll open up the spline editor, check all of the boxes, and select all of the points. Right click the box, then click ease, then hit out cubic. And I think it looks a little smoother if you go through the graphs and drag these points down a bit like this. If you want to, you can add motion blur in your camera shake settings, but I like the way the directional blur looks for this one. Last, we're gonna make this horizontal shake flash. We'll start the same way with a 16 frame adjustment clip, and we'll position it in the middle of two clips. Right click to open Open it in the fusion page. Press shift space to add a camera shake node at frame zero. Set a keyframe for strength and speed and set them to zero. Then we can set X deviation to one, Y to 0 0.08, rotation to 0 0.8, and randomness to zero. You can definitely play around with these values if you want to get some different looks. This is just what I thought looked good when I first made it. Then I'll go to my cut point, which is at frame seven, and set my strength to 0.4 and my speed to 0.75 and change our edges to mirror. Then I'll go one frame over to frame eight and set keyframes for strength and speed at the same values. Then go to frame 15 and set speed and strength back to zero. Now I can add a directional blur node. We'll keyframe length at frame zero and set it to zero. Then go to frame five and keyframe glow set at zero. Then go to our cut point frame seven and set length to 0.1 and glow to 0.18. Go one frame over to frame eight and set a keyframe for length at 0.1. Then go one frame over again to frame nine and set glow back to zero. Then go to frame 15 and set length back to zero. Those are our nodes now we can open up the spline editor in the top right, check the boxes, and select all of the points. Press S on your keyboard to smooth out the keyframes. I think it looks a little better if you go through the graphs, select these outer points, and hold Alt while dragging them in to keep them horizontal. You don't need to pull them too far. You can add motion blur if you want by going back to your camera shake node, click the settings, and check the motion blur box. It can help transitions look a little smoother, but this is all up to preference. You can change it however you want. And now that we have our three shakes, we can go back 
to the edit page to drag them into our power bins so that we can drag and drop them in future projects. So I hope you liked the video. Feel free to check out some of my other stuff and I appreciate it. Have a good one.